Hey guys, this is Sophie. Welcome to this channel and to this video where we are going to find out how a sim family of 8 can cooperate with a lockdown situation. So here they are, two grandparents and parents with their four kids, from toddler to teenager, literally everyone is present here. So I hope this is going to be fun. Just let me clarify something at the beginning. I have no intention to make fun of people who are currently in a difficult situation. This video is only for entertainment, because let's be honest, we simmers all love to see our sims suffer. So the concept was to build a tiny house, meaning that it fits the sims for tiny home requirements with 64 types of living area, furnished with the cheapest furniture, and lock a huge family inside and let them figure out the rest. As you can see, I gave them the most basic items to fill their needs. They have a TV, a bookshelf, even a fireplace, you know. To burn down the house so everything is ready to go so i guess that first day is gonna be full with awkward family moments like grandpa and grandma's weird love sessions but it's also important to think about new ideas for the future now that we are locked up we should make a child totally and the poor girl's like what are you talking about haven't you learned from your mistakes meanwhile grandpa abraham is the first to get to the toilet while the world is literally on fire. And they start rushing each other. Also, literally. Nice booty. Don't stare at my booty, please. Don't get me wrong. They also have nice family moments. Those kids have even reached platinum aspiration levels. And I know it's probably because they became friends, but really, I was not expecting anyone to be happy in this video. Oh, where are you running? Oh, that's reasonable. It's almost 7 o'clock, so it makes sense to get yourself a bed to sleep in. And the double bed is such a smart choice. Because like this he forces at least one person to sleep on the floor and die quicker. What a genius kid. Okay, that was domestic violence. Grandma's like, I'm so sick of this family. For a moment I was thinking about why don't they use the toilet. Then I realized. Look at this brilliant strategy. No one gets to use the toilet now. Also, let's just take a moment to appreciate the fact that Grandpa is bathing in the sink while the shower is completely free to use. Wonderful. Oh no, we have our first meltdown, and it's the family-oriented grandma. I mean, who else would it be, really? Let me take a closer look. Nice thumbnail image, thanks! This toilet conflict is starting to get serious. And let me also highlight the fact that one of our girl's biggest fears is to run away. I mean, at this point, this would be my biggest dream. So if your eyes are good enough, you can notice how creative I was when I named these teams Abraham, Betty, Charlie, Diana, Emily, Finn, Gordon, and Helen. By the way, they are all in a terrible condition. Almost everyone is hungry, everyone needs to be. The house is full with fresh and roaches. Oh, maybe I forgot to mention that the grandma is the only neat person in this household. That explains a thing or two. Oh no! The toilet camper is down! <laughs> Helen only has two days left before celebrating a birthday. But don't worry, we've just ended up having a spare bed. Okay guys, shout out to Emily, first sim to lose the big family quarantine battle. Seems like the reduced population didn't solve any of their problems. Everyone is still a mess, no one thinks about getting rid of the garbage or anything, and that Charlie is pretty close to die of starvation in front of the fridge. I mean I'm not mocking him or anything, that fridge is probably empty by now, but it's still funny. Just as I told you. I love that whenever someone dies in this game, everyone else is like, couldn't you die somewhere else, damn it? And poor Grim Reaper be like, 
Anyway, Charlie is gone, only six of them left, the grandparents and the mom with the three kids. Speaking of which, at least we still have those kids. Oh, never mind. I love how they just teleported out like, guess what, I'm Ara here. Day 3, Wildlife has returned to Puffington. Just in case you wondered, I named this empty neighborhood Puffington. Creativity. Okay, so it seems like everyone got sick by now. But look at the bright side. It's the top three. They all can be so proud of themselves lasting this long. I feel like it's time to take our bets on who's gonna win this family quarantine battle royale thing that this whole gameplay just turned into. Now that I'm surprised, we've all seen this coming. Next one to fall is Grandma. I'm telling you, these guys are complete idiots. Talk to you guys. Things are getting exciting. And I don't want to foreshadow anything, but Diana is doing way better than Abraham. Just look at her. She's crashing the fridge time to time. She's getting to bed when she's tired. But meanwhile, Abraham falls asleep on the floor and I don't even know how he gets food because I've never seen him open the fridge door once the entire time. Wait a minute, did you see that? Let's repopulate Earth. I guess Abraham decided to prove me wrong when I was saying Diana is doing better. Now, as you can see, he decided to block the way to the toilet to get an advantage. Smart! And he even came up with new food resources. It's Friday morning, so I guess we are pretty close to the end. And there it is. Diana loses the battle, which sounds kind of depressing, I'm sorry. But don't worry, at the end I won't save the game, so it's gonna be fine for all of them. So Abraham, congratulations, you won, and now you can start cleaning up the entire house. <laughs> Look at his face. I was not kidding though, so come on. We have bills to pay, roaches to spray, bottles to throw out at the end of the day. <sighs> I'm sort of a poet myself. I want the toilet to be clean. This has been a nightmare since the very first day. Oh come on, don't be sad. You won. Just clean that. Okay, you can take a shower if you insist, but then get back to work. Come on Abraham, I know you can do this. Just a couple more billion roaches left. And the toilet. Let's not forget about the toilet. The toilet needs to be cleaned. Oh, finally. This is the peak of the entire gameplay. The toilet is finally clean. Oh no, it's dirty again. You know what, never mind. Let's focus on the roaches. This is a tiny room. You can deal with two tiles of roaches. Oh no, Abraham. I'm so sorry I was making you work too hard. I'm truly sorry. I didn't want you to clean this house and live happily forever after. Well... I guess it's not gonna happen. Anyway guys, uh, this is how this short experiment ends. Of course I'm planning to do it opposite, where I lock the same family in a luxury mansion, so that's certainly coming up. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe to stay tuned for the next one. Bye guys!